Hi, I'm Dr. Thomas Blaine with Ohio State University Extension. I want to talk to you a little bit about drought in the United States and how it is affected by the Southern Oscillation. That is the cycle of El Nino and La Nina. This is the drought monitor uh, map that uh, NOAA and other organizations use. And this is from the spring of 2017 about five years ago. And this came about right after a pretty strong El Nino. One of the strongest El Ninos that we've had was in 2015 and into 2016. And in the aftermath of that El Nino, we didn't have a drought problem in the United States. And that is for a couple of reasons, but one is the Southern US is typically more prone to drought than the rest of the country. But with El Nino, the jet stream tends to run through the Southern United States and carry storms. And so we get moisture there. Here we are now in June of 2022. And as you can see, the drought is really horrible in the Southwest. And that's because for most of the past six or seven years and all of the past two and a half years, we've been in a La Nina pattern. La Nina tends to cause the jet stream to rise way up over uh, southwestern Canada and then dive down in the eastern part of the United States. So it brings us moisture, but it leaves the southwest out. And as you can see, the Southwest is really struggling now with drought from Texas, New Mexico, Nevada's really hurting, much of California's hurting, but this is not caused by a general change in global warming. This is caused more by the temporary phenomenon of a very strong La Nina.